All right, folks, the time has come to talk about non-separable graphs. That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. We'll begin by quickly recapping cut vertices. If you'd like to see a whole lesson on cut vertices, I'll leave a link to my cut vertex lesson in the description. But just a quick recap for the purposes of this lesson. Here we've got a beautiful graph with three vertices we'll call A, B, and C. If we delete the vertex B, by definition of vertex deletion, we also have to delete the incident edges, and we're left with a disconnected graph. So B is what we call a cut vertex. A cut vertex is a vertex that when deleted disconnects the graph or disconnects its component. So to clarify that, if we put this graph back together, say this graph was already disconnected, so it consists of these two components. B is still a cut vertex because deleting B disconnects its component. So that's what a cut vertex is. Then we can pretty quickly define non-separable graphs. A non-separable graph is, I guess I'll do some bullets here for the definition, a non-separable graph is a non-trivial connected graph. First two things, a non-separable graph is a non-trivial connected graph with no cut vertices. No cut vertices. Pretty straightforward. So it's a graph that can't be separated by deleting vertices. Let's uh, take a look at an example and then we'll talk just a little bit more about the specifics of the definition. So here's a very nice example of a non-separable graph. This is the complete graph on three vertices or a three cycle, whichever way you like to think about it. Deleting any, any one of these vertices does the exact same thing. It just leaves us with a pair of adjacent vertices. So this graph is non-separable because it is non-trivial, meaning it's got more than one vertex, it's connected, and it has no cut vertices. There's no vertex we can delete that disconnects the graph. Now quickly let's talk about the specifics of this definition. We say a non-separable graph has to be non-trivial. So if we look at the trivial graph on a single vertex, you know, you can delete that vertex, but then there's no graph left. So we, we don't consider that a non-separable graph. And uh, it's got to be connected as well, because it doesn't make sense to consider disconnected graphs as non-separable because they're already separated. Even if we had a disconnected graph whose components were both non-separable, we still don't consider the graph as a whole non-separable because it's disconnected. It's already been separated. So one other thing I want to point out, a non-separable graph has no cut vertices, right? So it cannot be disconnected by deleting a single vertex. But there's no guarantee that you can delete more than one vertex from a non-separable graph and still have a connected graph. If we look at a, another non-separable graph, this is a cycle graph on four vertices, this is non-separable. So we can't delete a single vertex to disconnect it. If we delete any single vertex, we'll be left with a graph that is still connected. But this new resulting graph is not non-separable. We can disconnect it by deleting this vertex. So if a graph is non-separable, you cannot delete any single one vertex to disconnect it, but you may be able to disconnect it by deleting two vertices or three vertices or some other number. So again, we'll just say that definition, a non-separable graph is a non-trivial connected graph with no cut vertices. Now, in the non-separable graphs that we've looked at so far, they were, both, they were both cycle graphs, as you may recall. So any two vertices on these graphs, of course, lie on a common cycle. Now, let's see an example of another separable graph. And we'll come back to that remark that I just said about vertices being on a cycle. Turns out that's pretty important. So here now we're looking at a graph that's like two, three cycles stitched together. You can probably quickly see that this is not a non-separable graph. 
we can separate this graph by deleting a single vertex. This vertex here that is in the middle of the drawing. If we delete that, we disconnect the graph into these two components that both happen to be complete graphs on two vertices. Now, I keep going to get sips of water. If we put this graph back together again, so let's draw those edges we deleted, join them up with that vertex we deleted. Notice uh, a property about this graph that, that we just disconnected by deleting this vertex. This vertex here and this vertex here, for example, these two, make sure it's clear, they do not lie on a common cycle. They do lie on a common circuit. We could go from here to here to here to here to here to here to here, but in doing that, we repeat this vertex, which is not allowed in a cycle. They do lie on a common circuit, but they don't lie on a common cycle. Turns out, like I was saying, that's pretty important. Let's add an edge to this graph that's going to fix that problem. If we join these two vertices, these two vertices now do lie on a common cycle. This cycle that I'm tracing with my finger. And in fact, I'll outline it in black, although you probably saw what I was talking about. This cycle here. We go from here to here to here to here to here back to the starting vertex. And as it turns out, this cycle contains every vertex of the graph. It's what we call a Hamiltonian cycle. So of course, every two vertices in this graph, they now lie on a common cycle. This new graph that we're looking at is also non-separable. There's no vertex that we can delete anymore that would disconnect the graph. I won't do a bunch of erasing here, but we can visualize it. Say we delete this vertex here, clearly what remains is a connected graph. We'll get the same thing if we delete that vertex over there, we get a connected graph. If we delete this vertex in the middle now, we're left with a connected graph, happens to be a path graph. And then if we delete either of these two vertices in the top left or top right, we're left with a sort of three cycle with an extra vertex attached, same thing if we delete that vertex. So deleting any one of these vertices does not disconnect the graph. This graph we're looking at is indeed non-separable. So you might be thinking, okay, is that the key? Is that a characterization of non-separable graphs? That a non-trivial connected graph is non-separable if and only if every two vertices in the graph lie on a common cycle? Almost, not quite, but very close. The one stipulation we have to make for that statement about non-separable graphs to be true is that the graph has to have at least three vertices because there's one sort of weird non-separable graph, this one here, the complete graph on two vertices, where of course these two vertices don't lie on a common cycle, but this is a non-separable graph. It's non-trivial because it has more than one vertex, it is connected clearly, and it has no cut vertices. Deleting either of these vertices just gets us to the trivial graph, which is connected. So I'll go ahead now and write out that characterization of non-separable graphs. All right, so here is our characterization of non-separable graphs, which we will prove in a later lesson. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that proof sooner rather than later, and I'll try to make sure that I do it soon. So a graph with at least three vertices is non-separable if and only if every two vertices in the graph lie on a common cycle. Pretty cool. Notice that I did not mention in this characterization that the graph is non-trivial. That's given because we're saying it has at least three vertices. Also don't mention that the graph is connected. That's also given because we're saying that every two vertices in the graph lie on a common cycle. So it would be redundant to say that it is connected. It's certainly connected based on that. So that's just a bit about non-separable graphs. Go over the definition one more time. A graph is non-separable if it is non-trivial, connected, and has no cut vertices, meaning that you cannot delete any one vertex from the graph 
and disconnect it as a result of doing that. This is a characterization of non-separable graphs with at least three vertices. A graph with at least three vertices is non-separable if and only if every two vertices in the graph lie on a common cycle. Again, we'll prove that in a later lesson, so look forward to that. Hope this video helped you understand what non-separable graphs are. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Half in between